Hi friends, half glass full or half glass empty is a phrase commonly used to distinguish optimists and pessimists. Even when opportunity presents itself, pessimists see problems in those opportunities, whereas optimists look for opportunities even in difficult situations. Positive thinking is a very relevant topic in the current COVID situation where it is easy for us to be influenced by various things happening around us and get into a negative mindset. We should take the current lockdown as an opportunity to step back, reflect and reinvent ourselves. Welcome to the fifth session on Conquer Your Mind, Mental Toughness for Cricketers. In this video, I will be covering five powerful tips for you to enhance your positive thinking. Self-belief is the cornerstone for positive thinking. You are what you believe yourself to be. When we do well, we believe in our skills, capabilities and the process followed by us. On the contrary, when we face failures, we start doubting our skills, our abilities and get into a negative mindset. Please watch my previous videos on self-belief and visualization for tips and tricks to enhance your self-belief and convert your past successes to future glories. While achieving excellence should be our goal, we should remember that we all are human and humans do make mistakes. Committing mistakes should not be a concern until similar mistakes are repeated and a pattern is observed. Even the most successful people do make mistakes. Sachin Tendulkar, the god of cricket, has five golden ducks in tests. He also holds the record for the maximum number of dismissals in the nervous 90s with 27 dismissals across formats. Successful people, when they make mistakes, admit the mistakes and move on. When you make mistakes and start dwelling on it, your mind goes back to the past. You also would start imagining about the positive future failures. This will make it difficult for you to concentrate and be in the present. Please watch my previous video that explains four powerful tips to enhance your concentration. Batsman getting out immediately after scoring a century and batsman getting out in the nervous 90s are examples of concentration lapses due to dwelling in the past or dreaming about the future. Amir Sohel getting bowled by Venkatesh Prasad immediately after a verbal fight is another example of a batsman losing concentration and not being in the present. India had lost badly in the Mumbai Test match against Australia and Dravid was going through a rough patch. He was demoted to number 6 in the batting order. When he was walking into bat in the second innings, Steve Waugh commented that Rahul is number 6 this innings and would be the 12th man in the next test match. This comment did not distract Dravid. Instead, he stayed in the present and the rest is history. The marathon partnership between Lakshman and Dravid was instrumental in India winning the test match and the series. Negativity and positivity are contagious. You might have noticed how someone in a bad mood can bring down almost everyone in a room. On the contrary, a positive person has the opposite effect on others. We all would remember the last over bowled by Joginder Sharma in the first T20 World Cup Finals that India won against Pakistan. The victory was possible mainly due to the positivity of MS Dhoni. Being around positive people improves your self-esteem and increases your chances of reaching the goals. Surround yourself with people who will lift you up and help you see the brighter side. This is especially important in the current COVID situation. Do you enjoy what you do? Enjoying what you do is a productivity booster and provides you the necessary motivation to persist. If you stop enjoying what you do, challenges would seem bigger 
and the path to success becomes longer or non-existent. The five tips highlighted in this video are interrelated and influences each other. I call this the wheel of positive thinking. Let us take two examples to illustrate how thoughts influence the approach on the field. A batsman with a negative mindset watches the fielders, sees attacking field set as a threat of getting out caught by one of the fielders and is concerned about saving his wicket. On the contrary, a batsman with a positive mindset looks for gaps in the field and sees attacking field set as an opportunity to score runs as there will be fewer fielders in run saving positions and primarily focuses on scoring runs. A bowler with a negative mindset is concerned about the batsman's strength, focuses on not bowling bad deliveries and aims to contain the batsman. On the contrary, a bowler with a positive mindset is confident of his strengths and tries to exploit the weakness of the batsman, focuses on bowling good deliveries consistently and aims to get the batsman out. To conclude, in every situation, you should enjoy what you do, stay positive and look for opportunities to perform and excel. Hope you found this video useful. More tips and tricks on mental skills to follow in the next videos. Thank you and best wishes.